Welcome back to Soul Silver, everybody. We're gonna take on the Cyan Wood Gym Puzzle, which I don't remember if it's even like an actual puzzle or if I just do I just hit this? That's all it was. Okay, I was thinking maybe there was more to it, but uh, I did it. Yay! Okay, great. Let's go. Uh, um, I'm gonna have Noctowl in the front. For obvious reasons. I'm a little worried that I'll have, like, some kind of crazy rock move. But I think I'll hopefully be okay. So I hope I'll be okay. Ah, why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I am a strong trainer training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true! Come on, we shall do battle! Okay, I think I've just totally transformed this man's worldview. He just had a strong realization. He's been wrong this entire time. Maybe after this, he'll tr start training his Pokemon. We can have a rematch later and he'll be way stronger. I wish I had something better than gosh darn Peck. I knew it. I knew he would have something like that. Don't kill me. No? No? Okay. Okay. Well then, I, I knew that would happen. Can you confuse it? That would be pretty funny. No? No? Okay. All right, well, you're gonna have to not be here anymore. Uh, well, you know, you'd be good against Rock Slide, but you're bad against fighting moves. You're good defensive, though, so I don't know if he would just, like, outright kill you. I like you for Polyrath, so you go. Let's try out my new fully evolved guys. I figured I could survive a Rock move if he should have one because of the lack of stab and whatnot, so... Had to, had to start with Noctowl, because that was clearly the best choice. Had to see for myself whether he had one. He did get him out of there, no big deal. Noctowl, you... I was kind of singing your praises this whole time, like, Oh yeah, Noctowl will be really great for Chuck. Uh, you might not really get that much showtime here, but... You know, you're great either way. I love you. There you go, get rid of that now. Hopefully that's the only one. I can't give you a waterfall directly falling on your head till I get that HM, but here. What? You can't avoid surf! That's stupid, especially in a building. Now, that's some bullshit. Never do that again, please. Don't you dare. Thank you. Can't give you a waterfall, but I can give you all that. I'm doing you a favor. Thank you. Hopefully he doesn't have another hyper potion kind of bullshit. Now we'll try out my other recently evolved dude. Let's send out good old Loopy. Hell yeah! Oh, he looked so happy. I kind of want to paralyze it. I kind of just want to get straight to attacking, but I like to paralyze. I mean, I got a chance to paralyze it with those moves, and if he touches me. Who, who's faster, anyway? And I don't know which one of these is better. Because I'm, I'm a special attacker, but this is stronger. I don't know how he is, special defensively or defensively. Okay, he's faster. That's not cool. Oh, that can paralyze me. And it did. It did. Oh, there we go. Good thing I didn't use Thunder Wave. Well, look at that. <laughs> so, I mean, I like paralyzing him, my opponents, not just because... It'll, you know, have some turns where they don't attack, but also so that they'll be slower. But, no, I was slower. We're both paralyzed, so I still will be. I could heal it. Let's try the punch, see how it does in comparison. Oh, yeah, that definitely did more. Okay. That's actually good. Because he's not going to use a hyper potion. I like that you have the shell bell. All right. Uh... Can you not be paralyzed? Also, don't die. You'll, you'll die if you're paralyzed right now. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> if he had hit me with Focus Punch, you would have died. Thank you. Oh, I didn't need that, I don't think. But we're good. Thank you. Nobody was paralyzed ever. Fantastic. Well, that was, that was pretty simple. He only has two Pokemon and not even a big deal. So, yeah, Noctowl, the guy I thought was, like, the trump card he didn't really get to do anything my new fully evolved dudes i'm so glad they got to 30 right at the end of the last episode then that was fantastic the storm badge it's kind of weird what's that have to do with fighting 
but whatever. Let your Pokemon fly. Fantastic. TM01, my favorite TM. It's Focus Punch. I will not use it, but thank you. Yeah, that's the thing, though. The if. I'm not really into the ifs. Do you give me fly? You do, right? I need it. That sign was gym badge. Then you should take... Yeah, there we go. I do want to explore the water a little bit, because I feel like there might be trainers, or a trainer that I didn't fight. Um, so I'll get healed up, and we'll head back to Olivine. What's up here? Okay, is this where I haven't gone yet? Yeah. See, there was... there. There's more. More random swimmers out here. She might be the only one. I gotta get all the experience possible. I like to fight every trainer. And then you're usually good. If you fight every trainer, you don't really have to spend time just grinding, of course, if you get, like, a new Pokemon that you're trying to train up. Other than that, but, like, just training up for the Elite Four, stuff like that. Generally, fighting every trainer does it pretty well. Although in a Nuzlocke, we'll see, because, of course, it's more dangerous. I don't want any of them to faint at all. So, might end up doing a little regardless, but generally in Pokemon games, I don't end up doing extra training for the guys. They just sort of... They're, they're generally good by the end, just from fighting every trainer. I don't even generally fight a lot of wild Pokemon. I'll just use repels all the time. So even though this is just a little bit of experience, it adds up. I want to get it, for sure. So now, this is the first time that I'll actually be like a decent amount below a gym leader. I've been on the level with them pretty close. But Jasmine's highest is 35. My highest is only 30. I think we'll be good either way, though. So who knows, maybe by the end of this I will have to do a little bit just to be safe. But I'm not worried about her. Bye, Susie. I'm crushed. Sorry to hear that. Are we good? If that's all that, that, that was here, I'll just fly the rest of the way. Uh, yep. That's it. Alright, here we are. I forgot that fly was 90 power. I was thinking it was like 70. That's pretty awesome. It's much better than Peck, which was 35. Very nice to have. Takes, you know, two turns or whatever, but it's probably worth it. Oh, you got the medicine for Amphi. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. It's all going to be okay. I'm glad to help Pokemon in need. Except for those mill tanks and their berries or whatever the hell was going on back there. I don't care. I could not possibly care less. But I will help this Ampharos. Brilliant. It's a real tearjerker. Balba? Is it the Safari Zone thing? I don't know what the Safari Zone is like in this game. I don't remember. I don't know if it's just go in there and catch Pokemon. Or, or if there's like cool items you can get or anything like that. So I'll have to look into it and see if I want to go there at all. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, uh, I got Golem in the front. He looks really weird walking behind me. He looks really funny. <laughs> But he's the only one who didn't get any action against Chuck. We'll use him here for sure. Olivine City Pokemon Gym, Jasmine, the steel-clad defense girl. Because there's no trainers here, right? It's just her. Because there's dudes, but they're like, oh, no, you helped her, so we're just going to let you through. Yeah. Like, go on up there, buddy. You can do it. It looks like a, the walls look like some kind of... I don't know, they remind me of, like, a Sweet Sweet Galaxy from Mario Galaxy or a Sweet Sweet Mountain from... Mario Kart, just like a cake design for some reason. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the Clang. Steel type. Clang is a Pokemon, actually, later on in Gen 5. How weird is that? Or 6, whatever. I don't know. They are very hard, cold, sharp, and really strong. Uh, I'm not lying. Okay, good for you. So yeah, after this, I don't know if there's like crazy places that I can fly and surf around that I can go to. I'll have to look into that too. But uh, all, the only place I know is, of course, going right of Ecratique, continuing on that way. So I'll probably just do that, and then later on I'll look up if there's anywhere else cool to go or anything cool I can do with the Safari Zone. But for now, after I beat her, I'll just head there. So two gym leaders in one video. Hopefully this one goes as uh, swiftly as the first one did. That'll be six badges. That's pretty awesome. Very quick. Okay, uh, I mean, you could be good there, but I'm gonna send in you. I'm a little more confident about that. 
Steel is good against rock, but I think you'd be fine either way. Your, your ground is good against its steel. But I'm just gonna surf it. I don't think its special defense is gonna hold up. Level 35? I don't care. Take that. Show you why he's the captain. I think I'll be fine. Again, I prefer that to a Hyper Potion or something like that. As long as you didn't heal just enough to have one HP, I think I'll be okay. Take him out. Uh, okay, good. And then what? She's got like another Magnemite? Not a problem. Not even a Magneton, really? Okay. Sorry. I know, uh, you know, Steel was new when Gold and Silver came out, and she's all like, yeah, I got this new, this type, it's awesome, it's rare, it's cool. I just completely destroyed her soul. Sorry, Jasmine, had to be done. But I mean, I helped out your, your, the Ampharos, and that's my good deed. I don't feel the need to go easy on you at all. Yeah, thank you for not making this more complicated than it needed to be. No confusion necessary, just end it. Damn, six badges. Fantastic. Well done. You are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with League rules, I confer upon you this badge. Why didn't you go get the potion? Did you really need to stay by its side? Couldn't you just tell somebody else to go? Why did I have to do that? Anyway. 70, that's great. And I get my favorite TM. What is that, like Iron Tail? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. I don't think I'll use it on anybody, but it's, I don't know. It's, I guess it's kind of neat. So there that is. Oh, great. <laughs> that was really easy. I got my sixth badge. That's, again, it doesn't feel like I should be that far in. But yeah, fucking badass. So I guess we'll just go to Ecritique. All right, let's head this way. Um, now, of course, I went in here before and I explored around a little bit but I don't know if I can do the rest of it now that I have Surf and Strength and everything. I probably can, but... Eh. I'll come back later? How about that? Just like everything else, I'll look into it and come back, and we'll see. I just kind of want to go this way and just fight some trainers, do some random little stuff just to end the video. Have I gotten a Pokemon on this route? I went in there and I got one in there, was... did I get anything around here? No, there was no grass over there, so I couldn't have. Do I want... I mean, I don't have a choice. This is my encounter. I was gonna say, do I wanna, like... God damn it, there's gonna be an edit right there. I'm gonna let you... I'm not gonna post-commentate it and try to pretend it didn't happen. I'm just gonna let you know. Right there, the audio, audacity fucked up, audio cut out. And here we are. I was gonna say, like, oh, do I wanna wait for the grass, like, on the other side of the route, but I obviously can't do that. This is my encounter. Fuck you. I didn't buy any new Pokeballs. I only bought Super Repels when I went to the Pokemon and Acritique. But yeah, um... Audacity stopped. I think the problem really is my microphone cable, because it's been sitting on my lap here, which has been better for it, but I did, uh, I touched it. I just, my finger just bumped it a little bit, and at that exact moment, Audacity stopped. The audio cut out. So, that must be it, which is good to know. There's not some horrible problem with the program or the microphone, it seems to be the cable. That's really good to know. A strong swimmer. It's capable of swimming non-stop up fast streams at a steady speed of five knots per hour. Wow. Um, so I guess I need to try to get a new cable for this? I don't know if that's a thing that I can do. Eps... <laughs> Here, just is uh, doesn't Epstein. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, yeah, a, a blue Yeti microphone cable. I don't know if that's a thing that I can get, or if uh, other just like generic kind of cables will work, or what. But uh, I think I need a new one, which is again, I'm glad I just know, and that's uh, seems like it'd probably be a fairly simple solution. But yeah, mount. Oh, there's Suicune again. The mountain, Mount Mortar, whatever, we'll explore more of later. So I'm going to head this way and do stuff. Hey, buddy, you ready to talk this time? Ready to hang out? You pushed me. 
Okay. Hi. You're always just a tad too late. Suicune, how brave it is. How refreshing it is. How beautiful it is. And how quickly it moves. Josh, you seem to be around where Suicune would appear. Well, I keep finding it. It's not like showing up to me. My grandpa was quite into myths. I've heard so many stories about Suicune from him. Suicune, I won't stop following you until I found you. Found out what you're after. You hear me? You do that, buddy. I feel like he's probably running away because of you. It knows you're coming and that you're a creepy stalker, dude. Again, there's no reason for me to pick these. I don't do anything with them. In fact, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna ignore my need to see the little animation and hear the popping sound, and I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna break this addiction. I don't need you, Apricorns. I can live without you. Let's go. Whoa, how... Oh, rock climb. I was gonna be like, how the hell do you get that? Rock climb. There's gotta be... Come on. On this rock? Yeah. Oh, boy. I'll take it. Are you gonna have... I don't know, I have a bad feeling about this guy. This dude just out here randomly by himself that he's just gonna have, like, a bunch of magic harps. We fought one of those a while ago, though, at the beginning of the game. So he probably won't, but I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this dude. Okay, he just has one, it's fine. No problem! Something about him just rubbed me the wrong way. But we're good. Now that I have two different audio recordings since I had to restart it, I have no idea how long this video is. It's a good, good choice, man. That was really, that was really effective. You almost got me. It was a good try. You put on a good show. 30 for Randall? Awesome. It just feels so weird to be only at level 30 and have six badges. Because this game is so weird. Oh, of course. That's what made, That's what weirded me out. He was going to be one of those guys who wants my number. Yep, they're a strange bunch. I'm sure... Oh, just... Oh, Christ again! Good evening, Josh. It's me, Christ. Were you awake? Hey, listen up. Yesterday we were fighting a wild hoot hoot. I thought less I thoughtlessly used a potion at the wrong moment. What the fuck does that even mean? How do you do that? And it looked like we were going to lose. A wild hoot hoot? Jesus Christ. Those kinds of things no. Oh my god, Christ. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out of here. Anyway, uh <laughs> what the, How many entrances to Mount Mortar are there? I'm going to end the video, I guess. I don't know how long it is. We'll just stop here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. I got to get a new microphone cable or something.